Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about tags, what they are and how you might use them in Asana. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like some one-on-one -on -one support with setting up Asana, onboarding and training your team, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. So let's start this video and firstly, let's talk about what are tags. Tagging is something that is, is used in many different productivity tools, whether it's tools like Apple Notes and Evernote, these sort of note-taking apps that have tagging systems, or even things like Gmail, where you can put labels on an email. Label is just another word for tag, in my opinion. Uh, you've probably come across tagging in one form or another in different productivity tools and apps that you use. Basically, what a tag is, is it's a way of adding some kind of context to, in this case, in Asana, a task that you are working on. So similar in Gmail to how you might use a label to label all of uh, a certain type of email, you can apply the same logic to tags and tagging tasks in Asana. Now tags can be used anywhere across any project or task in your account. So to give you some ideas of how tags could be used, here I am just in my demo account and I'm in this admin and accounting project here. Now you'll notice there is this column, this tags column in my project. If you're not seeing this column, check your customization settings and check that you have got tags, this column turned on so that you can, you can see those tags. Even if you have the tag column turned off, when I, when I click to look at the task, I can still see my tags here on the task, even if I don't have that column turned on. Uh, but let's just turn that back on for now. So you can see in this project, I've got a couple of tags here. Here's one example of uh, using a tag to group together the tasks that I want to discuss during, uh, in this case, a weekly meeting. So as I'm working in Asana, maybe I decide, look, we really need to bring this up at the next weekly meeting. I can add this tag. So let's go into a different project here. Maybe I'm working in this Amazon project and I want to bring up this particular task in my weekly meeting as well. I can come up to my task menu. I can add tags. And if I just start typing, there we go, weekly meeting, I can now add that tag. And again, if I actually turn on that column here, oops, there we go. There we go, we can see the weekly meeting tag. Now, one of the nice things about tags is they just exist in your entire account. They're not specific to any one project that you are working in, a bit like custom fields, which I'll be talking about in a little bit. So I can be anywhere in my account and I can bring up and I can apply that tag to any task that I'm working on. And then when I click on that tag, if I click on it here, I can now see every single task with that tag across all of the projects that I'm working in. So I'm now looking at the tag page here. I have some options. I can change the color of my tag. Um, I can sync all tasks with that tag to my calendar. I could even add tasks via email to this tag as well. Uh, if this is a tag that I want to refer to um, fairly often, I can even click this star button and now I can add it to my favorites. So I've always got quick access to every single task that contains this weekly meeting tag. Let's go back to that uh, admin project that I was in before. So that's one example of how you might use tags is simply tagging tasks that you want to bring up in a meeting. Here's another example of a task and I can't do anything with this task right now. Maybe I'm waiting for somebody to come back to me or I'm waiting for some other tasks to be completed first. I could be using custom fields or even dependencies for these two situations. But uh, in this case, I'm just showing that you could use a tag to show that this task is currently on hold. Here's another example of a tag, in this case, this urgent tag, which implies, you know, stop what you're doing. This task is really important. This is actually one I've used with my virtual assistant before, is when I create a task up here, I can go, you know, send weekly report to Paul, and I might assign that to somebody on my team. Let's just do Warwick. Now I can't add a tag from here, but if I just create that task, once I'm on the tag page, I can either add a tag or do command, or excuse me, tab T, and then I can add the urgent tag. And so people I work with on my team, my virtual assistant, they know that, okay, if it has that urgent tag, I need to stop what I'm doing. I need to address this particular task right away. So those are a couple of examples of how you might use tags if you just want to apply some kind of label to a task that you are working on. 
Another way that I'm using tags is here in this content project. This is sort of my content calendar where I plan videos and blog posts and podcasts that I'm working on. And if you have a look at this tags column, you'll see I'm using the tags to show what type of content this, uh, this task is, is. So I've got, for example, a video, email, or in this case, blog and podcast. Now, if you've used Asana before, you might be wondering, well, why would you use a tag instead of a custom field? So let's just explore that a little bit. Custom fields, if you're not using them already, is another way of adding some kind of label or context to a task. And they generally get added at the project level. Where tags, like I said before, they generally are sort of just exist in your account. They're not specific to any one project. Custom fields we add to an individual project. So here, if I go back to my customize menu, you can see I've got this category field here, and I can add in a number of menus to appear in a single option drop down menu. Now, when you add a task to this project, let's look at this one down here, every single task inherits that custom field. So even though this field, this sponsor field, this text field is blank at the moment, it still appears in the task. Same with category and status, which are both custom fields. Tags, on the other hand, they don't appear on every single task. So if I go back to this admin project, you see here, here's a task that doesn't have a tag. That tags field, it's not displayed in here because there's no tag on this particular task. So that's one sort of subtle difference between tags and custom fields is custom fields generally show and appear on every single task in the project, whereas tags only show up if you've added it to that specific task. So if you're just using tags as a sort of casual ad hoc way of labeling tasks, a bit like here, then, and, and you know, I don't need a custom field to show up on every single task. I can just add a tag as a quick way of adding a label to a task. But going back to my content project, a lot of these tasks here, they do require a status and a category on every single task. So that's one reason I'm using custom fields. The other is that I want to have a clean list of drop-down options to pick from. Right now, at the time of recording this video, when setting up a custom field, you can't set up a multi-option drop-down menu. I can only pick one of these options. So that's one of the reasons I've opted to use a tag instead, is for this piece of content, it's a blog and a podcast. So I'm using the tag to apply multiple labels or tags to this particular task. Now, Asana is actually working on an update where you will be able to add a multi, we will be able to set up multi-option dropdowns very soon, but that's still in the process of coming out. So right now, I am still using tags in this case. So that's in one important differentiation at the moment, is if you need to apply multiple uh, sort of bits of context or label to a task, like in this case, uh, a drop-down menu or a custom field wouldn't really be appropriate, so I've chosen to use a tag instead. Another way that I'm using tags is a little bit quirky, is for some form of time tracking, or basically estimating how long tasks will take. So here's uh, my tasks, and I've got some tags here with these numbers on. So I have five, I also use 15, let's put a 15 on there, uh, 30, like this yellow one here, 60, 90, and then I actually do go up to, if I remove that, let's put on 120, I go up to 120 as well. And if you haven't guessed already, this is the number of minutes that a task will take. So five minutes up to 120 minutes or two hours. Why am I using tags? You could use a custom field to do this. One of the reasons I've chosen to use tags is, as of right now, when I'm looking at my tasks, the My Tasks page cannot display custom fields, even though if I go onto one of these tasks like this, uh, I have custom fields on the task. Because each project can have different fields, it would be too difficult for Asana to put all of those columns into this My Tasks view because each task might have completely different fields or columns. So just so that I don't have to click into a task and, and see the estimated hours, I quite like the visual and the color coding of having tags used to estimate how long tasks are going to take. So when I'm looking at my to-do list, I can look at, are these um, quick and easy tasks, these quick little five minute tasks, or is this a bigger task that's gonna take longer, 60, 90, or 120 minutes? Another useful way we can use tags is within the search and advanced search in Asana. 
So I can say, for example, find tasks assigned to Paul due within the next, say, 14 days. And if I add a filter here, I can now search for tasks that have all of a certain list of tags or, ha or contains certain tags. So let's say any task that has that 60 minute tag. And uh, actually let's refine that. Let's look at things that are incomplete. So here's everything, all the 60 minute tasks I have coming up. And so if I want to get quick access to this search, I could save this. I could give it a, you know, a name, 60 min tasks, save that search. And that's going to go onto my sidebar here. And again, it's another way of getting quick access to certain tasks in this case that have a specific tag. One final way we often use tags with clients we work with is if we want to automate different workflows and processes from Asana. Because Asana integrates with Zapier, Zapier is this fantastic automation tool. Uh, we work with clients, for example, who want to maybe send an email when something happens in Asana. So one of the ways we can do that is by adding a tag to a task. So when we add that tag onto a task, Zapier can see that happen. It sees that tag get added. So in a way, or the, the action of adding that tag, that is the trigger that initiates the Zapier workflow. And then we can do whatever we want. We can uh, trigger emails to be sent. We can trigger updates in Asana, other tasks to be completed, whatever it is that we want to do. But that's something we do quite a lot with clients that we work with is use the tags to trigger specific automated workflows. So those are some ideas of how to use tags in Asana and how they are different specifically to custom fields. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to get more out of Asana and need help setting up or optimizing your account, if you want to automate more of your project management process and you want to correctly train and onboard your team, then check out my Master Asana program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so you can get help from me and get your questions answered anytime you need support. You can also book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me where we can take a deep dive into your account. I can show you key features and I can even do group training workshops as well. And finally, you'll get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and covers topics that I don't cover on YouTube. So if you truly want to master Asana, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.